Hey everybody, this is Toby Eunice with It's Not a Restoration, and today I got this package via UPS. It's the Eastwood 3.5 gallon bench top parts cleaner. We're gonna open this up and we're gonna show you how it works and we're gonna show you how we're gonna use it with our vintage uh, cars, uh, restoring our vintage cars, okay? Let's take a break and I'll unbox it and put it out on the uh, bench for you. All right, so here it is out of the box and uh, I'm gonna open up and I'm going to have Shelly move in with the uh, small camera so that you can see what's inside. So it, it, inside I found uh, one, two, three pieces, but not counting. So this is the pump right here. This is the filter. Now I want to make sure you understand that that filter right there, let me just point to it right there, that's the extent of the filter. There's nothing finer in there. So objects that are bigger than or smaller than that filter right there uh, will get into your pump. The other two pieces inside here are this plastic ad adapter which screws into the pump and then the gooseneck which then screws into the plastic adapter. Now, when I first put my tray in, and I'm going to do that in just a moment, uh, I noticed that my gooseneck was too far forward for the slot that they had created for it. So I had to loosen this screw and this uh, nut back here uh, in order to uh, move the pump just slightly further back. Okay, then there's the AC cord. It's protected, of course. And if Shelly will come around to this side, you can see that there's the on off switch and it also is uh, protected and isolated. So I'm not going to turn that on. It's not healthy to turn your pump on without actually having uh, fluids in there. Okay, so let's take some measurements real quick and uh, see what it's got. So it's about 15 and a half inches wide and 11 and a half inches deep and then it sits with the door closed. Let me close the door so we can get the measurement, the bench top measurement. And then it sits well, about nine inches high. So it's very compact. They call it a bench top, and it's convenient for us because we don't do big, messy parts. We do, you know, the vintage restorations that you see. So uh, I think what I'll do now is let me put in uh, a couple of gallons of water, and I'll put in some. This is my favorite. Uh, non volatile cleaner, super clean. So I'll put in a couple of gallons of water and. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll uh, turn the pump on and see what kind of effect. I have one of our vintage cars. It's not really too dirty, actually. Let me put it up here. So it's really not too dirty. Uh, but we'll put it in, see how it fits, and see how the goosenecks work. And the other thing I'm going to recommend is that you take some time to purchase one of these uh, parts cleaning brushes. They used to be nylon and wood, and they didn't last long. I noticed this has plastic, stiff plastic bristles. Uh, the collar is plastic, and the handle is a plastic, so that it might work a lot better with, um, uh, with the solvents. And then also, I always keep a bottle, this pump. Uh, you can buy these hand pumps at, uh, at uh, the big box stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that. In the garden center, they're used for spraying and uh, they're, you can pump them up and create pressure inside. And it's, I fill this with uh, distilled water and I use it for that final rinse and I rinse it right back into uh, the parts washer. Okay, so uh, give me a couple of minutes while I, oops, while I fill this with water and then we'll come back. So uh, keep in mind that you need at least a gallon and a half to be able to cover the pump filter. Uh, and uh, it'll hold three and a half gallons all together. I'm just going to put two in because two covers the pump filter and uh, I want to make sure you watch this. So I'm going to open up this bottle of Super Clean and I'm just going to pour the entire bottle in. Now there's other products like this. Some people use simple green. Some people use purple stuff. Uh, I've always liked Super Clean. It's got a, a hydrochloric acid base, so it's a pretty good cleaner. Uh, when you first spray it around, be careful because it's got it'll it'll give you a little choke. Make sure you have a mask on if you're using it. So that's above the pump. Uh, make sure then that you put your tray in. And this is the point that I was making earlier. This slot right here. 
uh, did not match where the gooseneck was coming up from. So I had to loosen this screw right here and this nut in order to push the pump a little bit further to my right in order for this slot uh, to fit in here. And it's kind of a, you've got a tray in the back, a tray holder in the back, and you just kind of let it drop and I'm sorry for the noise. But you've got your tray solidly in there. Uh, make sure that your gooseneck is not pointed out into the nether nether world because once I turn this on, it's going to start spraying, right? And uh, so I'm going to take this uh, vintage Nylant Grand Prix Special and I'm just going to brush it up. It's not, like I said, it's not that dirty. Uh, this is one of the vehicles that we're going to be restoring in the near future. So I'm going to just put it in here and I'm going to turn the pump on. And it's got a nice, the, the, the splash. So it's got a nice little stiff spray, pretty good little spray. Uh, so you can see <laughs> that if you're not careful, it will get to you. And in, what I like to do is just kind of let it soak first. And then I can take the, the brush and just kind of start brushing things down with it. And the idea is to get some suds on it uh, because that, that gives you a sense that you're cleaning things. And um, just move that dirt around. Now the dirt is filtering uh, through uh, the, the tray and down into the pump. So this is eventually going to get dirty, right? Uh, you're going to have to, uh, depending on how much cleaning and doing, if you've if you got something that's really dirty or really greasy, uh, eventually you're going to have to replace um, what, was, what was in there. Are you getting wet back over there? So I'm going to turn it off because it's, uh, it's got... And the nice thing about it is this doesn't require any connection to uh, a water supply because it's all in there. And what I've known, for, what I've known from other benchtop parts washer uh, of this par parts washer like this is that uh, depending on how much you know, you can go a week, two weeks, sometimes as much as, as a month. You know, a lot of the vehicles that we get do have, are kind of muddy, uh, and it picks it up and it cleans them and it's fine. But you can start seeing, you can see that that our water right here is relatively clear, but that'll start browning up for you as you start cleaning parts with it. Uh, but this uh, this plastic brush, like I said, I bought this at AutoZone. I think I said I bought it at AutoZone. This plastic brush is working very, very nicely. And it's uh, taking off some of these, these stickers, which is what I wanted to do. I want to get those off before we take this to uh, paint stripping and sandblasting. But at that top is working, it's coming out very nicely. Okay, so what I'm seeing right now is that this is a pretty stiff little spray, right? So you, are, you may get some splashing, just be careful since you're using something that's non-flammable, non-volatile, it's not as much as a danger. But now what I can do is I can turn this off and I can go back to my distilled water sprayer and just use that to do the final rinsing. And now I've got a nice, clean, rinsed vehicle. So, uh, it works very nicely. I mean, it's going to work for us. And I hope that, uh, that you know, it works for you guys as well, depending on, on what you're doing. I'm going to spend a little bit more time trying to get these uh, stickers off. And then I've got the um, compressor set up so that we can... Um, so that we can air dry it and uh, finish it up with a little bit of toweling, okay? What I've done is I've, uh, as you saw, cleaned the car. I got the stickers off, most of them. There's still some gooey stuff that I'm gonna have to get on with, get off with some acetone or something. But I've rinsed it off and I'm ready to dry it off. And what I usually do with these vehicles, uh, with the nylons, because they have that bottom frame, I like to just kind of tip them to make sure they're drained completely. And then I do a little bit of air drying. Uh, and the reason I like to, this is going to get loud. To get into... all the nooks and crannies, okay? And then give it a toweling off. And I know you guys can't probably see it in the same way that, uh, that uh, I can, uh, but this, the top is now completely clean, looks nice. The glass was 
uh, dirty on both the inside and outside now. It's still got some water in there, but that will we'll take care of that once we uh, start disassembly. Uh, but it's really nice and clean to work with. You've got a good start, and it gives you a sense of uh, how much has to be done on this vehicle, you know, just based on uh, how much you've cleaned off. Like I said, the gooey stuff from the sticker is still there, but I can take that off with some acetone. We're going to paint strip this, these pieces, then we sandblast them to get any of the rust, because uh, this particular vehicle always has interior rust on the bottom of this. Uh, so I'm actually really pleased uh, with the performance of this. I think it was a good investment. Uh, when I bought it, it was uh, $59.60. And it's nice because I can put it on the bench top, use it, pick it up, and put it over on uh, our, our storage surface over there, and it's out of the way. But it's nice and compact, and it's perfectly sized for us. So you, you make sure that this is the kind of thing that you want to do with it. It may not be perfectly sized for you, but for the price and for the efficiency uh, and uh, cleaning your filter every once in a while, that, that inside behind that plastic filter, okay? So this is Toby Eunice and my camera, director of photography, Shelly Carney and partner uh, for It's Not a Restoration. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a good day. If you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments box below and we will make sure uh, we answer them for you. All right. Have a great day, guys.